Minecraft is, without a doubt, one of the most impressively creative and immersive sandbox video games ever made. Despite its simplistic, cube-looking nature, it's a stacked but rich lore behind the biomes, dimensions, and structures, the never-ending list of mobs, and a bizarre but amazing world generation screens extraordinary. Because of the success of the game between 2009 and 2014, Mojang has gained interest in making a Minecraft movie, as Notch originally pitched the idea with Warner Brothers. Unfortunately, he left Mojang in 2014, and with that, left Jeb to lead production of the game. Afterwards, no news of the Minecraft movie was ever said from Warner. A decade later, Warner Brothers released a trailer in late August 2024, and... What the hell? Okay, there's a lot of shit I need to discuss here. A Minecraft movie, as its definitive title, is going to be a 2025 live-action CGI hybrid movie where it centers around four friends in different ages, as they suddenly transport themselves into the Minecraft overworld with the guidance of Steve. Now when you think of video game movies, the only thing you're going to be concerned about are either the characters and their voice actors or the story. Video games at times are usually focused on gameplay while keeping the story at a minimum, as well as making it well told no matter what. Games like Super Mario and especially Minecraft have little to no stories to really tell, but when it comes to spin-off material, Mario and Minecraft are no stranger to telling interesting stories within their worlds. When making a one-hour movie of these two based on the series canon, however, is going to be a lot damn harder than you might imagine. So when the Mario movie's cast and trailer was announced, people immediately thought this movie was going to flop so hard, but after several trailers and promotional material, the movie turned out to be not bad, and Illumination actually did something good for once. Now let's look at a Minecraft movie. Questionable cast, check. Celebrity add-on, check. Ugly CGI, check. Made by a now corrupt company, check. Not animated, check. Okay, what the hell is going on? There is a lot of things that don't sit well with me with this movie, even if it's going to come out next year. The first thing is the human characters. Why aren't they blocky? If the movie is going to be mostly set in the Minecraft overworld, why don't they go through a blocky makeover to begin with? The second thing is that it's not good looking. Aside from the visuals, the characters and the realism of the mobs just doesn't look or feel like Minecraft. They could have easily got away with this by making it look like the Minecraft update trailers, in which in those videos, they have more life and personality as opposed to this garbage fest. The third thing I thought was really bad was the cast. Don't you just like it when an actor gets popular in a TV show until they appear in a big screen movie? Sure, get some random child actor as his or her first theatrical debut. Okay, hot take here, but Jason Momoa would have been Steve because for the love of Pete, why the hell did they cast Jack Black as him? Good thing they didn't cast Pedro Pascal to do the character, but pretty much all they did was just slap a blue shirt on him and called it a day. This is pretty lazy, even when doing filmmaking. The fourth and final thing I thought was a no-brainer for them to do was make it a Minecraft-based Jumanji film. Despite the movie not being directed by Jay Caston, it's Welcome to the Jungle, but with a Minecraft skin and Jack Black in it as well. Overall, this is a cluttered mess that is absolutely outrageous of Warner Brothers to do. The general audience were also mad at this monstrosity, and was going to outright bully them for the right reason and redesign the movie since it's comparable to the first trailer of the Sonic movie. Hence, when the revealed trailer was released with a bad press, the company will eventually listen and go through a huge makeover, even if it means delays. It was ironic that the director himself said he wanted to avoid an ugly sonnet situation. And, well, uh... You blew it! You had it all and you blew it! How could you screw this up so badly? If you wanted to avoid this scenario, why did you let this happen anyway if it already looks unpleasant to begin with during production? I'm willing to give this movie a try off of online, but at this point, Warner Bros. is just letting themselves go. As far as everything else they have done, especially Velma, they deserve the Oscar of being told ass why some pissing people off. Come to think of it, what happens if there was a Roblox movie?